LiveView Central is your one-stop destination to control, monitor, and manage all of your LiveView units, servers, apps, and user profiles from any browser on a computer, tablet, or phone anywhere around the world. In this video, we'll show you how to use the main features of LiveView Central. Ready? It's showtime! First, go to lu-central.liveview.tv. Your initial login details will be created for you by LiveView Technical Support. Let's say you work for Metro Broadcasting Group, which has stations or bureaus in different cities. The user group list can be configured to be visible to all users in your organization, or to only show the units and servers in your specific group. For example, you can have a group just for the Gotham City Station. The default screen is the device list. Before any LiveView unit or server ships, we will add it for you under your LiveView Central account, so that when you log in, your units will already show up on the device list. Each line represents a LiveView field unit, such as the LU500, or LiveView software running on third-party hardware, like a smartphone or a laptop. The color icons show unit status. Red means the unit is transmitting right now. Green means the unit is on and ready. Gray means the unit is off or not connected. The list will also show you the name and type of each unit, current latency, resolution, and battery status. To control a unit, select it from the list and press Take Control on the right. Now you can associate the unit with a server, select Delay, and start transmitting. You can also preview overall bandwidth and modem status, connect to Wi-Fi, and more. It's like magic! The user in the field will be notified that the unit is being controlled remotely via the touch screen. You can also filter devices by type, transmission status, and more. The devices you use regularly will always appear on your list. However, LiveView Central allows you to also create ad hoc licenses for devices that are not part of your permanent group. For example, you can send a 24-hour temporary activation code to any smartphone user who downloaded LU Smart or laptop user with LU Lite, and they can copy and paste it in the settings menu of the device. To use this feature, make sure ad hoc is included in your LiveView plan. Looks like you sent a code to Alfred, and there he is, ready to transmit for the next 24 hours. Doesn't get much easier than that. We can now also go to the Map tab, where all your LiveView devices and apps with GPS functionality will show up. From here, you can quickly know if one of your contributors is close to a breaking news location. It appears that Alfred is on a secret assignment outside of Gotham City today. All your channels, aka servers, will show up on the Video Matrix tab. The channels at the top of the screen are preview channels. Units connected to these channels will only send a low bitrate video preview that is not output via SDI or to a CDN. Preview channels make it easier to monitor a large number of active devices. Channels at the bottom of the screen are live feeds, transmitted at full bandwidth, and output to your desired server anywhere around the world. To turn a preview feed into a live feed, drag and drop it into the output tray. The output tray typically contains between one and four slots per tab, which correlates with the number of available SDI outputs on the physical multi-server. To turn a live feed back to a preview, press the release button. The output tray can also be configured to output an encoded web stream directly to a CDN. But wait, how did all those channels and units end up on my list to begin with? Let's take a quick trip back in time. Let's go to the Manage tab, where all groups and users can be, well, managed. Select Groups and Add Group. Let's create the groups for each one of the stations in Metropolitan Broadcasting Group. The entire list of devices and channels will appear, and you can move the relevant devices to the desired group. Whenever you add a long-term LU Smart License or other new device, i.e. not ad hoc, make sure you also move them from the Inventory list to the Associated list so that they appear on your device list. From the Manage tab, you can also create new users and decide which devices they can see and control. From channels, you can configure your outputs, such as SDI or WebStream. LiveView Central also allows you to manage all of your store and forward files. Go to the Files tab. Each line represents a video. 
By clicking on the line, you can preview the video. The icons on the right-hand side will allow you to download the file, rename it, or play it back via SDI on the server. For more information, please visit the product page. And as always, LiveView technical support is available 24-7. With LiveView Central, your entire fleet of LiveView devices and apps can be easily managed, making you a superhero. Now go make some live video!